Hello everyone. So today we're going to be veganizing another Taco Bell recipe since you guys love the crunch wrap so much. So to start this off, we're doing it the same way that we did the crunch wrap. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil into our pan, heat that up, add a little bit of chopped onion in there and just let that cook for a few minutes till it gets nice and fragrant and a little translucent. This is just going to give our vegan ground beef a lot of nice flavor. Don't let it burn just till it gets translucent. So I'm using the Light Life Smart Crumbles, the Smart Ground, the Mexican Crumbles. They didn't have too much of a Mexican flavor, if I'm being quite honest, but I happen to like these ones a lot. And I am just going to put them into my pan and break them up. This was about probably seven ounces of the ground crumbles, eight ounces, it wasn't the whole thing. And I'm just taking my spatula, breaking up the pieces and letting it heat up so we can just get them all broken down. Then I'm gonna add in my taco seasoning. I'm using the same one I used as the Crunchwrap video from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite one. And just be sure to check your taco seasonings. Make sure they're vegan friendly. So just mix that up and that's good to go. Let's make our cheese kind of sauce. So we're gonna add the Daya cheddar and pepper jack cutting board shreds and a little bit of non-dairy milk. And we're just gonna let this melt. The gordita has like a kind of a quesadilla on the outside. So I figured my best bet would be to melt the vegan cheese down and get it nice and gooey. So that way it was nice and melted, just like how it is from Taco Bell because vegan cheese doesn't always melt the best if you were just to put that in the microwave. There's also a spicy ranch dressing. So I'm just taking a vegan ranch. I'm using the one from Daya and adding some cayenne pepper and I'm just gonna mix that up. I'm not sure if this is really how they do it or how exactly they do it at Taco Bell, but I mean, it was spicy ranch, you know? I had a little more cayenne just cause you know, I like my things a little extra spicy. Just do it to your spiciness level. So now you're gonna have to cut out a little tortilla. So I took a medium sized tortilla, put the two crunchy shells and then cut around and that's the size that it needs to be to wrap around the crunchy tortilla shell. So I just cut a few of those up, already done. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. And then you're just gonna fill your crunchy taco with the meat. I actually got the ones that stand on their own and they're so much easier to use than the ones that don't. So highly suggest using those instead. Then we're gonna drizzle on our spicy ranch dressing. Then we're gonna add a little bit of lettuce. Then you're gonna put this to the side for a second and we are going to take the soft tortilla and we're gonna spread some of this cheese sauce on here. So that's why I found it better to just melt this ahead of time instead of melting it onto the tortilla. I just felt like it made a nicer, smoother sauce. Then you're gonna put that hard taco right in the middle of there, fold the sides up so it's kind of like wrapped around and tucked in there. And then you're just going to put a little bit of shredded vegan cheese on top and that's it. That's exactly how you make these. They're so much easier actually than the crunch wraps to make and they're really, really good. And it kind of has that same thing going on of the mixing of textures of like soft and crunchy and like spicy and not spicy. And it just is really good. I really like these. So you can also add a little extra cheese if you feel like you didn't get enough in there, just to like squeeze it and make sure it's really cheesy. Look at all that cheesy goodness. Now that they're all done, I line them up and I'm gonna put some green onion on here and hot sauce. I know that's not really typical of a one that you would get at Taco Bell, but I want to make mine a little bit nicer, a little fancier, you know, a little more chef-like, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I did like the flavors it added. And these are them, they're all done, they are delicious. You'll get five from this recipe. And I think you guys are really going to like these. They're really, really good. I know you guys enjoyed the crunch wrap, so I figured let's veganize another Taco Bell recipe. And yeah, they're delicious. And I'll put the recipe down below in the description box. If you liked the video, you already know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching.